Good morning, ducks. I hear you, turkey. I'm coming, goats. Welcome back to Woodacres. Today we're gonna be opening up the barn. <laughs> Got a bunch of empty water buckets up here. Good morning, ladies. Hi, muffins. Hey, Spot. Hey, Gina. Coming in, coming in, ladies. Get the lights on. Oh, hey, Wilbur. Puppy, we got a lot of chickens floating around here. Hey, Dizzy. Oh, Raptor. Dizzy, jump down. Gotta open the door for everybody, Dizzy. All right, come on out, chickens. You too, Rita. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rita. Is there more in there? Come on, rooster. Let's go, Sammy. Both my roosters don't have tails. I have three roosters. The little one has a tail, but my two bigger roosters don't have tails. They're getting a little bit better now that they're sleeping in the barn here, but I'd like their tails to grow in. Hey, pigs. Wilbur, Charlotte, I'll be in in a minute. I'm coming, ladies. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. We got to get the ducks out, ladies. They're stuck in their little house. Ducks are first because they got the smallest house. Come on, ducks. Oh, is that all? Four, five, four, five, one, two. Gotcha. That's why the ducks get fresh water at night, so I don't have to do it in the morning. Chickens are already on their new feeder. I'll get that filled up. You thirsty too. Puppy, you hunting another mouse? Hey, you two. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you a rooster? Sammy, I know you're a rooster, but what about you, biggin? This is my biggest chicken. She's massive. I think she's a light Brahma, but it could be a light Brahma male too. Come pop. All right, ladies, coming in. Yeah, that feeder's a lot better than a bowl. Hey, rooster. Oh, we got Rufio trying to mate on pants. Relax, rooster, it's the morning. Wilbur, why is your food and your water bowl not in the right spot? Coming in, big fella. Coming in, big fella. All right, let's get you all set up, big boy. You too. Hi, Charlotte. Good morning. You guys spilt all your food. Look. You have plenty of food down there you could have been eating if you didn't tip your bowl over. Oh, was that a rooster? There you go, pigs. Oh, sorry, pig. We are not getting any rain, but yesterday we filled up the 275 gallon tank. We had to fill up the tank with a hose and then bring it up with a forks with a backhoe just so I would have water up here. We haven't had water in over a week. I've been filling up all the buckets that I have in the back of my truck and bringing them up to the barn each day. What's up with these three raptors making all this noise? My blue and illusions are being real noisy today. So now I have a full tank to work with at least until hopefully we get another rain. Rooster, what are you doing? You're getting all riled up, aren't you, Rufio? Why don't you get one of the new bigger girls? These are the older girls. Why don't you go catch one of the big white ones? Oh, Sammy, you got this flock down on lock, don't you? You and little Roo out here. This is my little Japanese Yokohama rooster here, red-shouldered Yokohama. A little cutie. And we are working on this fence, trying to get this permanently up in place so I don't have to keep dropping it every time I go out to the pasture. There you go. What's going on? Dizzy, they want you, don't you? You're a cutie. But we're making progress. It's just a lot of work to try and get this pen up. I got all the corner posts set in so I could see the whole size and shape of the pen that it's going to be. And then I started doing the math trying to add up how many middle posts I was going to need to finish it off. Mm. 
And it looks like I needed about 14 more posts to finish that off, and it just seemed like a lot for that small of a pen. Oh, we got a flock of geese flying over. How beautiful. We got to get these turkey moved this morning. They get moved three times a day. And this little lever action system I have here is a lifesaver. Just go ahead and sit down on this uh, board here. Lifts it up and you can slide the wheel right on. And you're even able to use one hand with the camera. Now for the turkey, you need to grab a little bit of handful of food. Make sure you have the rope handy. And then get them all away from the front of the chicken tractor. Because they like to smash up in the front. And they get trapped in those little triangles I have there. So everybody get back. And I don't think I was fast enough. Oh, 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 nope, we got one in the triangle. There we go. We're home free. And that's, we're done. That's all the further we have to move. The turkey are doing some damage back here. I actually moved a little bit farther than I needed to, but we were doing a U-turn last night. And then today I want to try and work on getting them their own little bubble pasture. Coming in, turkey. See how they just push each other into the wall? Come on, turkey, come on back in. I got your food right here. There you go. I usually do that a little bit more contained, but I'm with one hand here trying to do it with the camera. We'll eat it all. Come on. Everybody back inside. Come on. That means you won. Come on, around the corner. You guys never like going around corners. Oh, too f Whoa, where are you going, buddy? Oh, we got one out there too. We got turkeys free range in here. Whoa, make your turn back in. You helping, pup? Come on, round up, round up. Don't bite. Oh, there it is, the door. Oh, I keep shutting it. Let's put that there. All right, turkey. Come here, pup. Round up these turkey before they finish breakfast and want to start exploring. Hey, with me. Slow down. They got longer legs than the ducks, but they they don't know where they're going. Hey, hey. turn around, bud. Echo, you're in the way. Back up. There we go. Everybody's back inside. How much water you got? All right, I brought you a bucket. There you go, turkey. You got your water bowls, and you got your food, and you got your fresh grass. Someone said how calm my meat turkey were, and they really are when they're younger, but now that they're all bigger, fighting for food, they're pretty wild. This is a new feeder from whenever the broiler chickens were in here. I had to use an actual Schedule 40 pipe cut in half to actually have the, enough support to hold the weight of the chickens pushing back and forth on it. I had a drainage pipe in here before and they just bent it all up. I have it hanging off of some thin chains up to the rafters, so it's been holding really good. But I am on a little bit of a slant out here on the pasture. So whenever we get turned a certain way, it does start hanging to the side. But I think it's working out pretty well. All good, pup, come on. So the main chicken flock is inside the barn and they're my egg chickens. And then we let out the ducks and mumbles and they're my egg ducks. And then we have Charlotte and Wilbur inside the barn and they are meat pigs. So they'll be going here at the end of October or early November. And they're already getting pretty big. And now we gotta get the goats out. Goats just got some new feed. I'm coming, goats. I'm coming. Why are you two yelling? Hey, Flip. Hey, Flop. How you guys doing? There you go. You hungry for breakfast? Look how big your brother is. Their pen and their bolt action DIY custom gate latch is working out really good. This little pin that I hook on the back, I don't know if anybody else ever uses them. This little hook doesn't work perfect. So there's been a couple days I've come up here in the afternoon turnover and they've closed their gate on them. Jumping up against it, unhooked it, and then it swings shut so they're not actually able to get to their water. So my simple fix is to keep this tub right up against the gate when it's open and they can't knock it shut. <laughs> on goats. Goats are pretty low on hay, but I like to take a little handful and put it out here in this Y trunk just so they can eat up and eat out here in the open. Give them just something else to do. And this gate latch has actually been working out really well too. 
And I do need the lock because Flop will reach his head under here and chew on my handle and the bottom of the 2x4 here. So he would try and lift this up. So it's a good thing I put that little twist latch on. I did make some progress up here in what's going to be the new turkey enclosure. And yesterday my dad dropped off a new pa uh, load of pallets we were able to get from a neighbor. I set in the front porch here, just kind of threw some pallets down and made a little uh, hearth entryway uh, door jam thing with some block and brick and I also got a pallet door mounted on here so it can close and we actually have a building in here I'm gonna have to borrow my brother's nail gun and get some more pallets broken down so I can do the whole outside sheeting for this building but I did build a little retainment wall to build up the side here so that this side of the building's foundation was held up as well as give a nice little dirt pen that I'm gonna cage in for the turkey so they can get in and outside while they're still safely locked in the house all right, I gotta make sure I'm not overflowing my water tank. I just got water up here. <laughs> what is this? Oh, a bunch of leftover food from cleaning out our freezer. My dad just threw up here. Wilbur, what the hell are you doing? This is why I have no water up here, Wilbur, and that's why your pen's a mess. You keep dumping your bowl. And your food bowl too, Charlotte. Come on. So we got the egg chickens, the egg ducks, we got the meat turkey, the meat pigs, the meat goats. And now I'm filling up one more bucket to take down to the ducklings, which is the new duck flock that's gonna be adding to my egg flock. I'm not sure I like the look of this. I don't know if this is just a collection zone for all the feathers or I lost a chicken. I'm gonna have to count my chickens and that's not gonna be an easy job. But it's gonna be a hot one today so we're gonna open up the barn door here to get some cross draft. And I have some pallet and lattice so it closed off so the birds don't get in and out. There we go, screen door. And what about you, turkey? These are the breeding turkeys, so they're gonna need a little bit of food and they always need their water changed out because they stand in it. You guys all just chilling on your perch now? You guys like your new perch. We did a video building this perch, so if you wanna see that, go check that out. That's when we moved the replacements into the barn for the first time. Hey, pup, you find me? Good boy. But on a serious note, that is a lot of dark feathers. I got my little broody Gina, and I got my other bigger Gina. We did lose the third Gina, don't know what happened. It was about a month or so ago. She just was dead one morning. It was really sad to find her like that, but I didn't see anything else wrong with her. So sometimes when you just have a lot of animals, sometimes things do go wrong. All right, I got their food back in their bowl, and I got some water back in the bowl. So now we're back on track. I have this old frozen pizza that we're not gonna eat anymore, so we have it all thawed out. We are defrosting our freezer. Here, pig, you'll like this. Oh, there you go. Oh, Wilbur, you even got up for it. Oh, who's gonna get the crust? One of you, yeah, Charlotte, you're gonna get the whole crust. Get it, girl. Poppy, what are you doing over here? What are you doing, bud? Why have you been in this corner all the time? Is there a mouse living in here? Go ahead. Turkey, you get a water change, turkey? Yeah, we'll get you all cleaned out. It's a balancing act. I'd really like to get these turkey where they belong, but this is what I'm doing right now. Scoop, rinse, dump. Coming back in, turkey, coming back in. Oh, on the block. There we go. You're all set, turkey. And I know there's plenty of food in there for you, so finish your breakfast. Hey, ducklings. Yeah, you're still working with a rock latch. Good morning, everybody. You're all so big and colorful and talkative.
them cleaned out, ready to go. They just gotta move. You ready to move, ducks? Watch your toes. Watch your toes back there, ducks. Come on, move forward. Move forward, ducks. Forward we go. There you go. Fresh grass, ducks. Let's put everything back in and they'll be good for the morning. There you go, ducklings. You're all set. Fresh water, full bowl of food, fresh grass. I don't have my tripod with me right now, so I'm kind of just doing everything one-handed out here, but we're getting it done. I didn't plan on doing a barn opening video today, but once I started walking up here, I figured I haven't done it in a little while, and we are making some changes out here with this fence. So I wanted to do a barn opening and show the process of what I've been doing every morning since the last barn opening. Rooster, what are you doing sitting on my hose? Sammy. Did I shut this water off? Okay, just had to double check. What are you doing up here, Sammy? I am hoping these feathers are from a rooster getting on top of a chicken and pulling them all out and not from a pig pulling them all out. Huh, guys, you're not allowed to eat chicken yet. Last year I had four chickens and a turkey hop over this fence rail and get into the pig pen and only one chicken made it out. Where is Sedgwig? Oh, there she is. Hey, Sedgwig. Yeah, this is my survivor that went through the pig pen and made it out. If you saw that video, I did rescue her one morning whenever I found the pigs eating a turkey. I looked around the pen and I saw Sedgwig squished in the corner behind the water bowl rim and she was just hiding there. I thought she might be dead, but when I pulled it out, she started moving and I was able to save her out of there. Crap, I just found Sedgwig stuffed behind the water cooler. Sedgwig. Here's Sedgwig. Sedgwig, you okay, girl? And she's been doing great since. I think she's one of the ones on the top of the pecking order. And a lot of the times, every morning, she's out there scratching up the compost pile. Wilbur! You son of a... Oh, Wilbur! So it is Sunday and I'm not going to work today and we have Rita the rescue duck just sitting outside the duck pen because all the other ducks don't want to play with her. Oh, there they are behind the house. But I'm just going to open this up so that they all can uh, intermingle together. She's just sitting there waiting. So if she wants to go in, I'm going to open the gate and let her go in. Even though Lucy runs right in there. But I really do like having a full barnyard with all the animals just running around and we can see them from the house. There she goes. She's heading on in to try and be a duck today. You be nice, ducks. You too, mumbles. I got muffins and spot, green queen and chicken. I got a dot, 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 and a dot. Sussies right there. We have Anna, Lucy, and Dolly, the Andalusians, and Pants. She's still doing okay too. So I don't think any of my chickens jumped into the pig pen. Hopefully that's just a rooster getting on top of the chicken, pulling some feathers out. I don't see any of the other chickens actually injured or not. So maybe they're just some down feathers that blew into the corner. That's what I'm going with right now. I'll let you know if anything else changes and if I actually get a full count of the chickens. You two want to be mean to any chickens, would you? Huh? You two nice pigs, you want to be mean to a chicken in there, would you? All right, that's everybody. I think everybody is up and moving for the morning. I'm in the middle of recording the video for putting up this pasture out here, so I don't know which one you'll see first, this one or that one, but I'm working on enclosing this whole pasture out here with some fence posts and some gates so it's nice and secure and the ducks are safe. With this bubble pasture that they have right now, at any point a dog or a predator can run right through it and knock it over and get to all the birds. So I really want to, for my sanity, to get all these posts in the ground and the fence stretched tight so all my birds are safe while I'm away at work. And I really want to get my meat turkey out of that chicken tractor, at least during the day, and then I can put them back in at night. Because those turkeys are getting pretty big and their tail feathers are starting to ruffle, getting banged up against the cage inside that box. So I want to give them some time that they can run around in the open grass, spread their wings, and actually stretch their legs. So if you want to follow along with the progress here at Whit Acres, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit that like button before you leave, and you can see me and Echo on the next
next one. Thanks for watching. We feed the wild birds here too. And now I can take this hoodie off. I'm always cold and I woke up this morning, it was in the 60s. You can still kind of see the fog going across the top here. But after doing all the animals, I'm all warmed up. And with 97% humidity, today's warming up fast.